Hello, welcome back my amazing artists. Today uh, you should have watched the video about reflective symmetry or what's also called bilateral symmetry which is anything on this side is would be reflected on this side and it creates a balance. Or by, if I, we say bilateral symmetry, bi means two and lateral means side. So there's two sides that reflect. For example, if I put my hands together like this, they reflect each other. Except th this one doesn't have a ring on it, but you can see what I mean. Everything on this side is a reflection of this side. So can you think of things in your environment that have bilateral symmetry? The next time you're out looking around, see if you can see anything. Now for this project, if you have your sketchbook, you can uh, find a page. I like to use the middle page because if I tear out any sheets, um, I can keep my artwork together. So find a, a spread of two sheets next to each other. And this middle line is going to be our line of symmetry. If you don't have that, no worries. You can just find any old piece of paper, fold it in half, and then open it back up. And that fold down the middle can be your line of symmetry. So we're going to draw one side and then the other side. And then we're going to color it in. So let's look at doing a, we're going to do a butterfly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the butterfly, half of the butterfly's head on this side. Then we're going to make the butterfly's body that comes down like that, a bump down. And we're going to make one little antenna out here. So now we got half of the butterfly. We're going to do the butterfly's wings. So the first wing always goes way out, kind of curves back. We're going to do one, let's do two, three bumps and the bottom bump will go down a little bit and then come up. So now we have to draw the same thing we drew over here, over here. So we start by doing the body and head, this little part. And if it's not exact, that's okay. But you want to look at this side and try to reflect. So it goes out comes back, out, and comes back, and then out, and down, and comes back up. That's not exactly perfect, but that's okay. Now we want to put some sort of design or pattern in our butterfly. I think what we'll do is have three lines that come out to the little top of these curves, right here and right here. Two lines, actually. One, and two and we'll put a different design in each part so any design I do let's see I'm gonna do zigzags for this one any design I do I have to repeat on the other side so I have one two three four zigzags so one two three four zigzags now let's see for this side I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna break it up into three spaces so I'm gonna go one two and there's my third space one two there's my third space so this I'm going to put some little um let's do hearts so I'm going to go heart I'm going to have a little bit bigger heart and then a tiny heart so heart bigger heart tiny heart now you don't have to do the same uh, patterns that I do but you can if you like let's give this guy a little face here and I'm gonna go ahead and put some lines coming down his belly his or her maybe it's a girl I don't know and then I think for this last part I'm just gonna do some just curvy diagonal lines and you can add stuff to your uh, Let's see, what do I got? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. You can add some other stuff to this. You can add a background. You can add uh, different colors. But for, for an example, if I color this, if I color one of these hearts red on this side, if I got the middle heart red on this side, I got to, for it to have reflective symmetry, my middle heart on this side has got to be red. Okay, 
So if I color this, um, let's see, if I color this second triangle right here blue, that means I gotta color this second triangle blue too. So take your time, I'm gonna stop here. You can add a background in, just remember whatever you put on one side, you have to put on the other side too. Um, so make sure you add details to your butterfly, that you add colors in the background, in the front, finish it up, make it a colorful and creative masterpiece. And I will see you next time. All right, bye-bye.